Hi, I'm Rob. In this video, we're going to look at a couple of ways to recover deleted files from an external hard drive on Mac. It's never a fun time when your files have gone missing from your external drive, and this can happen for a bunch of reasons, such as accidentally deleting the file from the drive and emptying the trash, a corrupted file system, drive errors, or if it's been formatted. So for this video, we're going to show you how to recover accidentally deleted photos from a USB drive, but you can use it for any type of file. We've got two options. The second one is less complicated and much easier to use, but we'll start off with PhotoRec on Mac, which you can download from the official website. Connect the external drive if you haven't already, and make sure it's mounted and accessible on your Mac. Go to Downloads, double click the file that was downloaded, navigate to Applications, Utilities, and Terminal. Launch PhotoRec in Terminal by typing the following command, sudo, then press space and drag the PhotoRec file into the terminal window. Press Enter. You'll be prompted to enter your administrator password. Use the arrow keys to select your external hard drive from the list, and press enter. Select the partition where your lost files were located. If you're unsure, choose the whole disk. For most external drives, choose other. This is common for FAT, XFAT, NTFS, and some HFS Plus systems. Finally, select a destination folder to save the recovered files. We strongly recommend to recover to a different drive to prevent overriding other recoverable data. Press C to begin the recovery. PhotoRec will scan the selected drive and recover files to the chosen destination. The recovery process may take a while depending on the size of the drive and the number of files. Once completed, check the destination folder for the recovered files. So that's PhotoRec. I think you'll agree it's not very user friendly and has a steep learning curve since it runs in terminal with no user interface. PhotoRec also doesn't keep original file names or folder structure, and there's no file preview or scan resume. One wrong step could even overwrite your lost data. So while it's free, it's not ideal for users who want a simple, reliable recovery process. That's why we recommend EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard for Mac and Windows. It's beginner friendly, fast and secure. No command lines needed. You get two gigabytes of free file recovery and it preserves your original folder structure and file names. Unlike free tools like PhotoRec, EaseUS lets you preview photos and documents before recovery, so you only restore what you actually need. Plus, it automatically sorts your files by type, photos, videos, documents, making it much easier to locate specific data. Whether your external drive was formatted, corrupted, or accidentally wiped, EaseUS makes data recovery quick, precise, and stress-free. It's linked in the video description. Download and install it to your Mac. Next, select the external drive that you want to recover from. Click the button to search for the lost data. The data recovery wizard will scan the drive and search for recoverable files. Be patient until it's finished. After scanning, it will list all the files it found, and you can filter by file type, size, and other filters, which is very handy if you know those details to narrow it down. Once you've found what you're looking for, select the file or files you want and click Recover. Choose a different drive to save the recovered files to, as you want to avoid overriding other recoverable data. And that's it. EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard is simple, quick, safe, and easy to use. Try it to see what it can recover for you. It has a lot of advantages apart from its ease of use and is ideal for everyday users. PhotoRec is a free and open source option which requires command line use and is not beginner friendly. Recovering with PhotoRec is a little more complicated. I hope that's helped you recover your files from your external hard drive on your Mac. For more great tips in the future, like and subscribe to the channel and We'll see you next time. Bye for now.